We got some supermarket and retail news for March. What are we going to talk about this time? Hey there, NJ, Route22.com here with the supermarket retail news, chat, observations, whatever. These are things I see. We go to the supermarket and stores all month long and I collect some pictures and I make some observations and I talk about them. We're going to start out this month's chat with ShopRite. ShopRite uh, is one of our regular supermarkets, the big, one of the biggest, uh, the biggest chain of supermarkets in New Jersey. And here, I noticed this at one of the ShopRites. I forget where it was. It might have been in uh, maybe Chester, not Chester. It might have been in Sterling, New Jersey. But uh, fruit cups. These these fruit cups uh, cantaloupe, it's seven or eight bucks a cup. I mean. Those are like New York City prices when you go to those stupid delis on uh, whatever, wherever they are. Um, you shouldn't be eating fruit anyway. If you're too lazy, just, I don't know. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous markup for prepared cut food. Also, I want to remind everybody again, ShopRite has a new brand of uh, paper bird products, uh, toilet paper and uh, paper towels. They're cheap. They're, they're, they're more expensive than the El Cheapo brands, and they're really not any better. I don't recommend them. I tried to find out who made them. One manager thought they might have been made by Mark Cal. You know, they just reopened their plant in uh, wherever it was along Route 80 that burned down last year. But stay away from them. We're sticking with our, uh, our Royale brand, uh, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. And also, I, I can't tolerate this fake food, this fake meat. And it, Every week I see a new new brand coming out. They're like really capitalizing on people's stupidity to buy these things. But I love the name of this product here. It's called Meatless Farm. I mean, they just take the two trigger words, you know, meatless. Oh, that's going to trigger somebody. And then you put the word farm in. Oh, farm is good. Farming, low or sustainable, whatever. And they put those two things together and everybody loves it. It's so dumb. I don't know. Just don't do it if you're smart. And here's another thing uh, that I think might be helpful. Believe it or not, uh, ShopRite has these club sa size savings. And I, I saw two products that I thought were fairly good values for families, especially with kids. They had these box of egg, this three or four pound box of eggplant cutlets, breaded, of course. They weren't gluten free. But I looked at the, the carbs. They were fairly low in carbs for us. I wouldn't buy them, but if, you, if you're ever in a pinch, it might not be bad to have them. They also had these chicken nuggets, which also seemed to be fairly high quality. I think three or four pounds. It was really cheap, and if you, if, you wanna, if you have a spare freezer and you can keep these things, they might be handy for a rainy day. Not every day eating, but why not keep some? They're affordable. And lastly, I don't eat granola, but my kids do. And I, I looked at the, the options of granola at ShopRite. I'm like, holy crap, there's like 5,000 different varieties. And most of them had little fruit bits in it. And the, you look at the ingredients, they're dense. They are dense and they are packed with sugar and carbs. I don't know. I mean, I, I looked and looked and looked for just plain old granola. There is no plain old granola because obviously that would taste like, like rocks. But I think the plainest of the plain is like oats and honey. And it took me like 10 minutes to find, find which one. I just, uh, I, I wish my kids weren't on it. Maybe I can convince the, uh, the board of directors here at our house not to uh, let our kids have that anymore. But for now, what can you do? All right, we're on to Whole Foods now. Whole Foods, um, I'm not a big fan. I don't like the mindset that they try to push on people and this, this bogus health nonsense. Um, and the thing I'm going to point out today is that they have these big like memes over on the front of the store talking about oh, healthy and wholesome and all the buzzwords that most dopes uh, just don't gobble up without even thinking. But then they're talking about they oh, promote well-being. But have you seen most of the employees, at least of the, the Whole Foods over in Bridgewater, they're all out of shape and like, like obese. Maybe they should think about hiring employees that better represent the memes at the front of the store, well-being and healthy and all this. And don't you think? I mean, either that or get rid of the damn memes and keep your fatties on, on staff. That's, it's just hypocritical. It looks bad, but I guess they just don't care since billionaires own this company. They don't just give, they don't give a crap. 
They just don't give a crap. And lastly, this week we are on to Aldi, one of my favorite stores because they are a value and I think the quality is, is perfectly acceptable. Um, they now too have the fake meat stuff, but at least they don't call them burgers. And I, I, I kind of gave them a little bit of a thumbs up for being accurate at least. It just says meatless ground plant protein. That is what it is, even though they have a picture of a taco on the box. They're not calling it m meat. It's just ground plant protein. It is what it is. You got to give them credit. And one last thing, I, like, like last year I, I crowned Aldi the, the champ for paper towels. They're no longer the champ, although they're still, I think, a good value and the quality is in that upper echelon of bounty-like products. I think their quality has gone down. I can just tell. Um, they're thinner, less absorbent, and I, I, I'm going to stick with the Royale brand over at Ocean State Job Life. That is the king of the hill by far right now. It's better than bounty and cheaper. So that's it. If you liked our little wrap-up this week, uh, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.